Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you a mini album that I made for my boyfriend's birthday back in May. Um, I used the Le Cirque paper line from Graphic 45 and um, a few of Tim Holt products or Tim Holt's products. I used the ball and chain and the Muse tokens, um, the doorknob, and then also the um, this is Marion Smith Vintage Trinkets book closure. Uh, I left it pretty plain because I liked, um, there was already a lot going on with this paper. So I just left it plain. I just added some of this um, flat back self-adhesive um, gold tone, I don't know, beads. Okay, so, okay, here goes. This is, I, I kept this album pretty simple. Um, no pockets. He, you know, he's not a crafter or anything, so it's just like a regular photo album. And this frame, actually, I got from, um, let's see, like die cutting these pages right here. It's like a shape of a stamp. But yeah. Um, this is an album of him and his friends. <clears throat> All these pictures right here were from his friends. I asked his friends to um, send me pictures and, you know, little notes. And next to each note, I put a pen nib from Tim Holtz, and sometimes a memo pin would pop up. And um, this picture, I really like. His friend photoshopped some of their faces on these people. I don't know. I think she just, I don't know where she got that photo from, but they put their faces on it. And then this rosette right here, um, it's the Tim Holtz rosette die, and then this is actually crepe paper back on the, on the back of this rosette. So it gives it another dimension. <clears throat> and another rosette, and this is um, one of the uh, die cuts from the paper collection, and I just added some, I don't know what he called it jute or twine on each end and then on these tags instead of putting like ribbon or I don't know some people put tool I use this beaded trim right here just to be a little different and I stuck a memo pin into this rosette also and um, this right here is from a spellbinders die it's like a hanging sign and then I just added um, a story that his friend wrote for all of us to read and I believe this is photoshopped also well the background they were actually on a scooter and that's him and another friend in a parking lot somewhere so some of these are um, in, a, in a stamp shape I used an AccuCut die for that so for this tag, I did use um, two kinds of ribbon. Well, actually, this is seam binding, and then this is ribbon. And then um, this page right here I really like because it has that ruffle trim. And Carla sells this trim. And as well as this, like, string of uh, bling right here. It's actually the bling mesh, and I just cut one strip and um, adhered it on top of the ruffle trim. And it kind of looks like, you know, the top of a curtain. <clears throat> okay. So you can see the, um, the cutout I used that as a frame. And then the tag right here with the bead, um, beaded top. And then, uh, the album was getting kind of thick, so I had to do, I had to compromise and use the, um, what do you call it, those Tim Holtz embossing folder that makes this design right here. And I just brushed, um, let's see, vintage photo distress ink over the top of the embossed image. And it's obviously the one that's the lined paper one. So I just made mini pages in the album as well versus um, pockets where he probably won't even know about. So, that's him. Um, 
like I said, very simple. I just ran some seam binding through this in this cutout right here, this die cut. And that's him rocking out in front of a Christmas tree. And um those aren't his kids, those are all his friends' kids. This is actually a boy, so he just has really long hair. And I left this kind of plain right here because I liked how it says a lion's heart right there. <laughs> and then over here, um, honestly, I know it looks intentional, but it wasn't. I just, <laughs> I printed a lot of photos and I wanted to add these somehow, but I didn't want to make another page for these, so I just matted these and um, stuck them behind this thing right here. And then this opens up like that. And then right here, uh, another rosette, but I put um, some stickles on the center and the edges of the rosette. And then I made a postcard. This is, um, I actually asked his friends from Florida to send some pictures and write a little something for that for him. So I just googled like Florida postcards and I like the way this looked. It looked vintage. So I just um, sized it and printed it out and stuck it on some um, paper. And this is actually from a stamp set. You can make a postcard. It's a Tattered Angel stamp set that I got actually for free for being the first 50 in line at the um, National Scrapbooking Day sale at Remember When. So I just used the stamp for to make the um, the postcard and then this is actually from Graphic 45. So this goes like that. I guess that's the only pocket but it's kind of obvious that it's there. So. And then that's just a page of me and him and this is actually from the cover of the paper pack. It's like the packaging. I cut it out. I like the interaction between the girl and the clown. And then I made another uh, mini page using the Tim Holtz embossing folder. And this is actually a crocheted flower from Recollections. And this flower right here uh, from Carla, Carla's store, Etsy store. And this is a uh, Tattered Angels framed fonts. They don't sell these anymore. And then, um,. I think this is the last page and this photo kind of swivels out like this and that's him cooking and I stuck um, a Karen Foster bread right there it says chef it's a chef's hat because he loves to cook and he went to cooking school I feel I don't know I'm pretty lucky to have someone that enjoys cooking and really wants to cook for his um, family and friends so that's the uh, mini album, his birthday mini album that I made for him. He was so happy. I was so happy to give it to him. He was really surprised. Um, so that's it for the mini album. And then um, this, I this is a shadow box that I made for him um, just because. And it's obviously from the Moulin Rouge collection. Or was it the Curtain Call collection? Sorry. And um, I just sucked these flowers right here. Pretty simple. This is actually a fan. It's a button. So, and then this is um, one of the cutouts, the die cuts from the paper collection. I just curled it up and glued it on there. And that's a picture of us at a NASCAR race. And that's us at the beach. And then this card right here I made for him for our one year anniversary. It's from the um, Le Romantique uh, collection. And then, um, let's see. Oh yeah, there's one thing I need to show you, but I can't show you our room. Um, my first layout I've ever done, and it was for him. So this is it. It's a shadow box. And I, uh, yeah, my first layout ever. 
and I didn't know how people you know had those like bling flourishes and pearls and all that so I actually made my own like I stuck the pearl one by one to look like that so I had no clue that they actually sold shapes I thought they actually made them you know by themselves but anyways um, I hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend or what's left of it it's Sunday so um, take care guys